Well, Aaron, it's been a great few days for the club. Uh, two great performances, two great results. Top of the table, all going well at the moment? Yeah, it's all going well. I think the last two games were needed after the Longford game and obviously the Galway game. So I think two good derby wins was good for the group. Everyone's buzzing in there now, so hopefully they'll bring that in the Friday. Yeah, you started well in both games, like the local derby against Cove and again last night against Waterford. You started really on the front foot and didn't look back in both games. Yeah, I think start of the season we haven't started well, so Colin and the staff just been telling us like we need to start games better. So I think the last two games we started well and obviously scored in early in both games, so take yeah. that into the second half. Yeah, obviously you are like you, you opted to, you know, for an extension for your stay in Lee side. Obviously you're excited about what's going on at the club at the moment. Oh yeah, it's great. I love it down here. Obviously I know Colin from before. Mm. Colin's great with me. All the staff are great as well. And, I think we have some big building here at the moment. Yeah, there's a sense like that if City score first in games, you'd be hard to beat because the way you're defending, you've only conceded one goal so far. Like. Yeah, I think all the boys, clean sheets, big thing that we we said before games, we want to keep clean sheets because if you keep clean sheets, I think the boys up top like, score goals. And Ali, Kane, Colm and Jonas, and then Harry and Harry and uh, I think very good defence. Yeah, I suppose compared to the last few years, like there's kind of a sense now you get like that city every game you're going into, like feel you're gonna win every game. Yeah, that's the plan, yeah. But we go into every game, focus on ourselves. Mm. Don't focus too much on the opposition, just focus on ourselves. We know that we're good enough to be anyone in the division when we're when we're on it, so we're yeah. going into every game looking to win. Yeah, you're enjoying your football, you could see it. That's thing you're enjoying yourself out there. I was enjoying myself, yeah, a few tackles, so yeah. I was enjoying myself last night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What about the atmosphere? Like you look at the two games, last two games, now we're trying to stress two home games, two back to back to back wins for the first time this season. Like, but just talk to us about what the crowd brings with like seven and a half thousand over the two matches. Ah, look, it's unbelievable. I think, don't think any other fans in the in, in the country get that out of first division. I think it just shows the best fans in the in the country really. Like, and look, it gives all of us a great boost going out playing in front of that many fans. We're just happy that we're giving them something back to share about at the moment. Yeah. Uh, just looking ahead to the game of Friday afternoon, obviously, a monster derby again. So, like, you know what to expect against three of you to come up against them, obviously. Yeah, look, it'll be a tough game. Obviously, they are a good side last year, but will their homework on them and hopefully go out and get three points again? Yeah. They're like, um, I suppose last year, they might have been the surprise packet, like they did so well. They dropped off in the end, but, you know, do you expect them to be a challenger this year, three of you? Yeah, they'll be up there, yeah. They're a good side. Obviously, direct team, hard to play against, put balls in the box, so we'll need to be defending well yeah. on Friday. They'll be there, thereabouts again. Look, they're a good team. They know they're down. They're hard to be as well. Yeah, your game plan worked great last night in terms of, like, Waterford were top of the league, weren't it? And they barely uh, one to two shots and goal. Obviously, that's the plan as well, just to set out to limit three to any chances. Yeah, I think if we play like we did last night, we have every chance to win again on Friday. Last night, everyone on the pitch won all their individual battles. And we didn't give Waterford much, so it was a good performance last night. We're just looking to bring that in now on Friday. Yeah, and just the last one for me, like, uh, Aaron, you're, the great thing, I suppose you're creating a load of chances, like against Cove in particular, like you could have been five up at half time, yeah. and it ended the chance again last night. So that's a good thing, that you're creating chances, and the goals are coming from various areas as well. Like. Yeah, it was good for the two strikers to get on the, mm. on the score sheet last night, but look, all the boys are creating chances. Even Matt Haley coming in now, he's creating chances from midfield as well. Barry yeah. Coffey can score goals. Yeah. And Ali Gilker's getting on the score sheet, so they're coming from everywhere. Yeah, so... Yeah. Is Keane Murphy claiming that goal, is? I think he is, yeah. I'm not <laughs> sure about it. <laughs> good luck on Friday, yeah. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thank you. Just in terms of last night, do you think that was your best performance in a City shirt so far? Out of possession, I'd say, so yeah, I think it could have been a bit better on the ball, but yeah, I was happy enough last night, to be fair. Do you want to way on the ball? Just I just think so many passes and stuff, but like, it, was, it was decent, but it could have been better. In terms of, you mentioned the tackling, obviously, is it kind of the derby aspect, so you kind of relish it, or? Ah, yeah, something I love down, just kind of stuck in. And <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously, you'd be open to that Friday and another derby as well? Ah, yeah, another tough game, so look, uh, all the boys last night, everyone was putting bodies on the line, even Ali stitches last night. I think everyone to a man was unbelievable last night, so all of us will be looking to bring him in that Friday.
it's obviously the third Munster Derby in a row, you have to kind of maybe look into it and say maybe which means more to the fans or maybe good grasp of it or... Uh, yeah, we'll have a good grasp of it now, you know, it means a lot to the fans, so we're look take my under numbers every time we play, so we're just looking to keep building on that and give them some share of it. Just find one out, how big a saying it would be if you were to go there and win and make three wins in a row. Yeah, look, we're huge. It's next game, next game is the biggest game for us, so we're going to go do our homework, our homework on three and hopefully get the win.